What's up everyone, this is Cybernide, and today I'm going to open up a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Shadows in Valhalla box for you guys. So yeah, I've been looking forward to this set for quite a while now. I mean, whenever we got leaks of it, we're basically, this is like another Battles of Legend. I mean, seriously, this set includes so many good reprints. We also get the Valkyrie cards. They're finally, you know, actually printed cards. And even some new ninja support in this set, too. So I've really been looking forward to it. I remember first time I was like, oh, cool, you know, Valkyries, that sounds great. But then, like I said, once we got those leaks and, like, Ash Blossom is reprinting this and all these other reprints... Uh, yeah, this really is another Battles of Legend, honestly. You can kind of just think of it as that. So, uh, let's go ahead, open this up, and, uh, see what we get from it. Of course, I got this from Big and Collectibles, too, in case people are wondering, so link in the description. And also, real quick, uh, Konami sent me three packs of Shadows in Valhalla, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to open up these on my Instagram, because Instagram's now doing a video service where they're trying to compete with YouTube, so I do plan to do some kind of, like, smaller openings on that. So follow me on Instagram if you want to check that out. I'll have this uh, posted later on today at some point. So, Because three packs, that's not going to make for a long video. So I was thinking it could be perfect for that. So uh, let's get to it. I mean, I don't want to <laughs> make you guys wait so long. Also, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe because I open up anything new that comes out for the game. And, uh, of course, it also includes Japanese products. So if you don't want to miss out, be sure to do that. And also do news videos and stuff, too, to keep you guys updated. But yeah, basically, too, with this set, everything's holographic. It is one of those sets. So you're getting five uh, foil cards per pack. I think it's one secret rare, and I guess four super rares, if I remember correctly. So let's get to it. I'm mainly hoping for the Valkyrie cards, to be honest, but I really wonder if I'm going to get Ash Blossom. <laughs> Can we actually get one? Ooh, uh, Vision Hero Trinity. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that was one of the better reprints. That's pretty neat. A Magical Meltdown. Yeah, the Invoked have been reprinting this too, by the way. They're going to be a lot easier to get, hopefully. <laughs> then Mermel Abyss Lead. Magic Planter. And starting off, we have Yellow Dragon Ninja. Oh, that actually looks really cool. This is one of the cards I wanted, mainly because of its artwork, honestly. It's actually a pretty good ninja card too. But that just looks so freaking cool. I love that. I might have to build something with ninjas. I do want to build Valkyries, but... I know there's several cards that are hard to get, so it might take me a second, you know? <laughs> Besides, I got a few other deck profiles I need to get to you guys first. Apex Avion, that's another good reprint. Abysteus. A Cyberdark Impact, that is another one that really needed a reprint. Magical Meltdown. And then we have Gateway to Chaos. So yeah, this is the card that goes with uh, Black Luster Soldier. It really went up in price, I think, around when Link Summoning came out or something. and Or Raging Tempest, I think. And uh, yeah, it, it was pretty expensive, so getting a secret one is really good. I think they were super rare to begin with anyway, so I might upgrade mine. Might give me a reason to uh, do an update on Black Luster Soldier. We'll see. Urgent Ritual Art. There, if I can get to focus, there we are. <laughs> Armor Nujitsu uh, Art of Alchemy. Akashic Magician, that's good. Uh, one of the Valkyries, finally. We got Dright, I believe is how you say her name. And then we got El Shadal Winda. So yeah, even the Shadals got reprinted in this. So I'm really thinking we're going to get Construct on that ban list. Yeah, Shadal Fusion is also a secret rare. So I know you guys out there, if you love Shadals, this is another set that you need to pick up, or at least a couple of cards you're going to want to get from it. Yellow Ninja, that's cool. Neos, Trinity, this Megalo, that's good. And then another one of Yellow Dragon Ninja. I was wondering how tough it would be to get this one, so he might be one of the easier ones to get. I have a feeling that the Mischief of the Time Goddess, I think, is going to be the toughest one to get. But I haven't really looked at what other people were getting from this yet. Let's see. Well, we got Elemental Magma Neos. That was another one that needed a reprint, actually. Impact. Let's see. Abysteus. Then we have uh, Armor and Jitsu Art of uh, Rust Mist. It's actually a pretty good card. And then uh, Seraphonite. Gem Knight Seraphonite. I forgot about that one, too. That's another really good reprint. I still have my dual terminal ones, but I like that Seeker. That looks nice. Kind of matches the other uh, Gem Knights, the Seeker ones, you know? Another one of Drite. Well, <laughs> finally, let's see, Hanzo, Chaos Neos, Twilight Ninja, and then another one of uh, Winda. That's pretty good. Come on, let's see some other Valkyries. I mean, so far we've only seen one. I want to get the other Valkyries. That's what I've been really excited about. Okay, Chimbara, that's actually really good. Let's see, Apex Avion, Strike Ninja, uh, 
Let's see, Valkyrie Arrest? Is that how you say it? I, I don't know. I, I think they're, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I'm close enough. And then we got Elder Entity uh, Narla. I think it's how you say that. I, this is the one I never have said right either. <laughs> I know. Shocker. Cybernet can't say a card name. But this card, it's, it's so cool to finally see this in English. I mean, we've missed on this card for, what, two years? Maybe longer than that? So yeah, it is an awesome card, too. It's terrifying, but it's awesome. So I, I'm glad we got that. Yeah, the... Pretty much the remaining cards for that. The HP Lovecraft cards, basically. Uh, the remaining ones that we don't have are in the set. So I think a lot of you guys will be very excited about that. Gold Mimbu Sword. Oh, there's a Goddess uh, Skull's Oracle. So there's one of the Oracles. Dragon Ninja. And then another one of Seraphonite. We're having some pretty good luck, I feel like, so far. Well, I'm happy with it. But no Ash Blossom yet. I'm <laughs> just pointing it out. We'll see. Advanced Dark. Fortune Chariot. There's another Valkyrie card. This Megalo. And then Wind Witch Ice Spell. Which, another one that really needed a reprint. So I'm glad to see this one, too. It should have been in the Megatons, though. The, the 2017 ones. Not, the, not this year's. But, uh, yeah. I, I guess we finally got it, at least. Still understand why they weren't in the the mega tens though. That would have helped out those tens because they were mainly about zodiacs and zodiacs got hit. Well, it kind of killed those tens. Let's see, Chimbara, another one of those. Then we have Goddess uh, Verdani's Guidance, so another one of the uh, the different like oracle cards, basically. Golden Ninja, and another one of uh, Narla. I, I think that again. I hope I'm close enough, but that that really does look cool. I can't believe we got two of them now. He reminds me of Ghost Freak from Ben 10. Like the original Ben 10, I, I think it's something else completely different now. That's what he reminds me of. Oh, we got Omega Summon. That's kind of interesting there. I'm sorry it's not really focusing the best right now. Packs where there's a lot of holographics, my camera just doesn't like that. Too shiny. <laughs> Neos, let's see. Red Dragon Ninja. And, oh man, we got it. This is uh, the main card of the set, basically. I think it's the toughest one to get. It is uh, Alistair the Invoker of Madness. Oh man, yeah, it's it's the invoked uh, Link Monster, obviously. It's the one that came on Link Brains Pack for Japan, and we've waited for quite a while, and it looks like I finally got one of these in English. I think I have like a place it in Japan because I opened up several of the Link Brains Pack. But yeah, that is so awesome to finally get this. Uh, I've been kind of thinking about trying to build something with Invoked. I don't know, maybe Mech Knight Invoked, because Knights, I mean, it sounds like fun. <laughs> and with them being reprinted in this, uh, we'll see. But that is awesome. Uh, like I said, I think that's the most expensive card of the set, too, if I'm not mistaken. I know it's the one everyone's looking for because it's a really good Link Monster. So that's, okay, now I feel like I've gotten a good box. I don't know what my odds are of getting one of those. Maybe it's one per box. I have no idea. Again, I hadn't checked out too many openings yet. Oh, we got one of Macaba. Invoked Macaba. That's really good. I remember being like a $40 card by itself. Rest. Hanzo. And another one of Ice Spell. So far, there's not an Ash Blossom. I, again, I gotta point that out. Come on, Konami. Don't let this be the, the Kaiba Legendary Collection, okay? <laughs> Am I gonna at least get one out of a box? I'll cry. <laughs> I'm not above it. We have White Dragon Ninja. Another uh, one of the goddesses. one's Erd's uh, Verdict. So I guess we at least got one of each of them. Hanzo. Let's see, another one of her dandy. And then Twin Twisters. I'm pretty happy about this one. It's just cool to see his secret rare. Kind of a funny choice, but uh, a good choice, too. It is kind of one of those cards that always needs a reprint, honestly. Red Dragon Ninja. Whoa, make sure you focus. There we are. Omega Summon. And another one! <laughs> wow, I actually got two of them! Uh, again, I don't know how crazy this. Maybe it is easy to get, but from what I saw, it didn't seem like it. That is awesome! I can't believe I actually got two of these! Okay, maybe I will build Invoke. Uh, although, Invocation, I wonder how tough that is to get. I haven't seen one yet, so I'm kind of worried on that one. But we got another one of Alistair. Oh, I can't... That is, my voice went up really high. Uh, but yeah, that is awesome. I can't believe we actually got two of them. Man, I don't even know how many I need if I plan on building Invoke. So I, I guess we're closer. I don't know if I need three or what. I'll have to see now. I mean, I got two of them, so now I gotta build something with them. Have Omega Summon. See, uh, man, come on, focus. There we are. Valkyrie, uh, Zwaid? Zwaid? I, I don't know how you say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying. But, yeah, that, it's still a cool card. This lead. And then we have uh, Ninjutsu Art of Mirage Transformation. 
So yeah, this is a new transformation card for ninjas. It's actually pretty good. I, I like this one. I like the artwork too. It looks really cool. The ninja cards are not bad, really. I mean, they're not like, you know, this is going to be tier one. It's going to take over the meta. It's, you know, no. Nah. But it's good. I mean, it's it looks like it's going to be fun, maybe budget kind of on it. I'd like to try them out. Another one of that Valkyrie I can't say correctly, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Magma Neos, Glow Moss. Now that's cool to see his holographic. Forgot about that. And also Flare Scrub. <laughs> that's kind of cool to get both those like that. And then Twin Twisters. I still haven't seen Ash Blossom. I think from Facebook I saw like one person open up a case and they got like 12 Ash Blossoms, so I guess that means basically one per box. Whew. <laughs> Drite. Another one of those. Glow Moss. And, oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about this actually being in here, uh, Dragoonity Knight Vatriana. So yeah, we can actually get a secret rare now, which is really cool. I'm going to have to upgrade mine because it was super at the beginning, Star Trek Blast. Then they made that battle pack where then it was an ultra rare for a reprint for it. And now we actually have a secret rare, which is, it's one of my favorite synchros. <laughs> so that is awesome. I'm going to have to get a place into those. I kind of forgot about that. That's like your main Dragoonity synchro as well. So if you want to build Dragoonies, I suggest getting the secret. I don't think it's going to be expensive. Akashic Magician. One of the Goddess cards. And then another one of Nijitsu Art Mirage Transformation. Still pretty cool to get. I guess I'm going to need a few of those if I do want to build ninjas. Alright. We're getting down to probably the, like a quarter of the box left. Let's see. More ninjas. Flare Scarab, and then Seraphonite. So we've actually, yeah, I think we got them too, Seraphonite. Trying to think. I thought for a second that might have been a playset. All right, come on. Ash Blossom, don't do this to me. All right, Abyss Lead. There we go, making sure. And Abyss Megalo. That's kind of fun to get those back to back. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, let's see, Advanced Dark, Cyber Dark Impact, and we have another one of Vatriana. Oh, that's cool. Like I said, I want to get a playset, so that's good. I'll take it. That is fine with me. I feel like I got a good box, though. I mean, I got two of Alistair. I, that's got to be really good. Let's see. Fortune Chariot. Magic Planter. And we got another one of the Alter Entities. This one is Azathot. <laughs> is that how you say its name? Which, there, there's no jokes there, right? <laughs> I already saw whatever I read over this card uh, when we got the spoiler for it. People were making jokes on that. But yeah, it's another one of the Entity cards. So it's pretty cool. Again, I mainly just like them for the artworks. They're kind of creepy, yet they're cool. You know, it, it's something different for Yu-Gi-Oh. I get tired of seeing a lot of the, you know colorful kind of cards, because at the beginning, when Yu-Gi-Oh! first started, there was a lot of, you know, mainly dragons and, you know, and, and monsters that were actually pretty terrifying <laughs> to, to think about. So that's the reason I kind of like these, because they actually look kind of scary. I feel like we have too much of, uh, that aren't too scary looking, you know? I don't know what the right word is. Just saying, if it's called a monster card, it should look like a monster, okay? <laughs> is that the best way to explain it? Another one of Neos. Then uh, Makaba. Well, we actually got two of those. And then another one of Seraphonite. So I think that gives me a playset now. So that's cool. At least Makaba seems to be kind of easy to get, sort of. I mean, I've gotten two so far. Come on, give me one of Invocation. Kashik Magician. Yeah, okay, Invocation. That must be a little tough to get. I thought it was super. That's what I was thinking. I'm kind of surprised I hadn't got one before. Well, at least I called it. Either way, I'll take it. That is awesome. Uh, let's see, White Dragon Ninja, Apex Avion, and then another one of Winda. All right, <laughs> we're down to our last pack. I have not gotten one of Ash Blossom, but I have gotten Invocation, at least one of them, and two of Makaba, and two of Alistair. All right, so it's kind of an invoked box, I guess, anyway. But let's see, what can we end with? Can we with that Ash Blossom? That card hates me. I'm, I'm telling you, the card freaking hates me. <laughs> Well, Magical Meltdown, that's actually pretty good. Again, Invoked. Jitsu Art, more of those. Upstart Gold Ninja. And then we are ending with Alter Entity uh, as a thought. So, yeah, we did not get an Ash Blossom. Can you guys believe that? I still can't get that card. Man, I don't know to be, I don't know to laugh or cry. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm really not that upset about getting it. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny to keep it going, honestly. It's, it's so, you know, after that case, that was just painful. But you know what? I got a lot of cards I wanted from this. I really can't complain. It's still an awesome set. 
And uh, yeah, I mean, getting Winda like that's pretty cool. I I'm still surprised they did a reprint for them. Again, I feel like that means Construct's coming back. Anything else on that? Of course, getting Alistair. I mean, I think getting two of those has to be really good. I, I feel like that's a really good box to get two of them. Uh, so yeah, we actually got those. Uh, of course, some of the Elder Entities. There's still a couple of them I think we're missing. That, you know, they're in the set. I just didn't get them from the box. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I got a few doubles, but other than that, uh, <laughs> I, I feel like this was a good box. So let me know what you guys think about this set, if you're excited about it or, you know, or maybe you're not so excited about it. And also, if you uh, picked up some packs or a box or whatever, let me know how you did. Did you get Ash Blossom or did you get whatever card you're looking for? I mean, you guys might be looking for something completely different. So let me know down in the comments. Of course, like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos. Also, ring that bell so you don't miss out. And again, I'm going to open up these three packs on Instagram. So. Follow me on Instagram, it's always in the description, and I might start doing some videos over there as well, like shorter opening videos. So if you want to check that out, I would really appreciate it. And uh, maybe there's an Ash Blossom in one of these. I mean, it's from Konami. Maybe maybe they did that for me. I don't know. But anyway, though, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day, and of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.